Get ready to go viral. Once the streets see me eating cantaloupe. Sackboy, come. <laughs> Sackboy, get out of here. <laughs> Hello, my name's Neil Brennan, and I have a Netflix comedy special coming out April 9th, 2024, called Crazy Good. They wanted me to wait till the end, but I don't know if you guys are going to make it. Let's snack. Almonds. Very boring. Sarah Silverman, who I've known for a long time, once said that Brennan's don't snack. She knows my brother. She knows me. And she's kind of right. We, I'm one of 10. If you grow up in a house of 10 people, it's not that different from what I would think a prison is. Meaning, if you had candy, you would have to take them out of your pocket and sneak it into your mouth so that no one else, because you're surrounded by nine people under 16 who love candy. Uh, it's like drugs in prison. Almonds, they kind of feel like a writer room snack. The only writer's room, I was a writer for television. It was Chappelle's show, so it was just me and Dave. He doesn't really eat, he just smokes. So there wasn't a ton of snacking. Dinosaur eggs. <laughs> Dinosaur, I don't know, that's, a, that's an iconic sketch. That was the only sketch we ever wrote on mushrooms. We ended up not doing it, but as written on mushrooms, the dinosaur was birthed, and then I believe the dinosaur would then fly away. <laughs> Pretty mushroomed out, and then when we were shooting it, Dave cut the dinosaur's head off and drank his blood. So, pretty crazy show. No one knows how it ended. Good. Nice. This is a lentil chip, sea salt, and then protein hummus. All right, look. I'm vegan, guys. Are you still there? Food is basically a sauce delivery system. No one just eats chicken raw, unless they're, of course, bodybuilders. You'll put something on it. So what I'm saying is, why does it have to be chicken? Chicken on its own kind of tastes gross. Try a different type of protein. So basically, I'm trying to get protein hummus into my mouth. I have a lentil chip, so it's not a fried potato, which is just empty calories. And I know you're thinking, Neil, you look like you do meth. You could use some empty calories. Good point. You're a very funny person. Good. Here's the thing about me. I am foundationally cheap. So I'm gonna take these babies home with me. Hit me. No, we don't want this thing to go viral. Don't toss it. Ooh, this is very much coming home with me. This is a restaurant in LA called Summer Buffalo. And this is Beyond Prick King. Uh, why am I eating? I'm pretending I can eat with chopsticks now. Jerry Seinfeld has a great joke about chopsticks, which is uh, how confident Chinese people are with the with the chopstick, where they're like, no, we've seen the fork. But we're gonna stick with chopsticks. I've seen the fork and it's over here and I'm gonna use it. Mm. Being vegan's gotten way easier. You know how like documentaries 20 years ago were like kinda popular and then every year they've got more popular? That's kinda like being vegan. Like it was a pain in the ass. You kinda had to go places to get it, but now, there's a new documentary every week. Hopefully, it'll keep up. If people keep getting murdered, we'll get our documentaries. Is there Crick King in my teeth? I hope so. Snack me. Snack boy, come. <laughs> snack boy. Snack boy. What is this, snack boy? This is just a cutting board with a <laughs> oh, what? can of. Thank you, snack boy. So this is a cantaloupe. Oh, pre-cut. Let's do the old, uh, let's do the old cooking show. Let's get, let's start cutting. Okay, do a dissolve. Great job cutting, Neil. And that's how they do it in the cooking shows, guys. Anyhow, cantaloupe. Get ready to go viral, motherfuckers. Once the streets see me eating cantaloupe, everything's different. Why do I seem so desperate? Good cantaloupe can hit me straight in the dick. And that's the Neil Brennan promise. Okay, Sackboy, get out of here. All right, Sackboy, you can go to the bathroom. Speaking of the bathroom, Chipotle. Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? 
I would say underrated. My Chipotle order is black beans, sofritas, the, the tofu, salsa. Usually I get a chip. Snack bar. Yeah. Chips, chips are a little, here's the thing about Chipotle chips, a little salty, like a little bit like, all right, what? Like somebody told them it wasn't salty enough and they've been passive aggressively salting them since, where you're just like, oh, it's not salty enough? How you like this, motherfucker? So now for the last five years, it's like, um, Chipotle is very good for um, the road. It's just, it's easy, I know what it is. I like apps, I like the Starbucks app. I'm an old corporate fool. Oh, do I love a rewards program. Woo, I just signed up for the CVS rewards program. Somebody's sitting on 10 bucks right now. Is this rewards, is this the name of this show? Rewards? Ooh, these are, where are these from? Kevin Hart's place? Plant Power. Plant Power. Kevin Hart has Hart House. I had a uh, handyman ask me like, do you know Kevin Hart? And I was like, yeah, and he's like, is he humble? Like, why does Kevin have to be humble? Also, how humble do you guys think Kevin Hart is on a scale from Napoleon to Tom Cruise? Where would you put Kev in there? His original showbiz name was Little Kev the Bastard. Look it up. Kevin Hart is the, he's a great guy. And I directed a lot of his Chase commercials. So that's how I could afford this Earth Tone t-shirt. So basically, fries are actually delicious because they're very oily and salty. But then you throw sauce. Uh, this is where you're getting, your, I'm proving my point about sauce delivery system. Chicken nuggets by themselves are kind of sad. If you're eating a chicken nugget by yourself, scientists have just discovered that you're 300% more likely to be on the bus. So pretty sad. Oh, my baby's here. Great. Unsung hero. Sugar-free, juicy fruit. What I like to do is I like to combine it with the Starburst. Sugar-free Starburst. The only one I really like is cherry. I'll do this, and then I'll combine it. I guess, I guess you could say I'm a mixologist. Huh? Huh. Mmm, mmm, more chewing. Mmm. Some people would say this is B-roll. I call it, I think it's A-roll, right? It's pretty cool because I'm vegan, so I try to keep healthy, and then I flood my body with chemicals to avoid sugar. So I'm pretty much offsetting it. The great thing about being healthy is you don't really know if it worked till right at the end when you go, I, I didn't die, so I guess I was right. And then you try to tell people how to eat, and they're like, you're fucking gross and old. And you go, ah. None of my habits may work for you. We'll see what happens. I like my chances, though. So. Did you make it this far? Thank you for watching. Now, go check out on Netflix, Neil Brennan, Crazy Good, streaming as of April 9th, or Neil Brennan Three Mics, or Neil Brennan Blocks. Bye.